Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Daniel and John and as you can see we're working on our Discovery 2 TD5 and the reason why we're on that this part of the vehicle today is because we've got a leaking seal from the differential it's leaking, weeping all the way down so what we need to do is we need to remove the flange and then we can remove the seal but the first thing we need to do is we need to remove the pinion that the prop shaft uh, basically sits is centred on it looks like this here and it's got an 8mm bolt that goes in the middle and John will explain a bit more about that in a minute this part here, this big part goes in there and then there's a little, there's a nut and it's a 16mm nut and I've got that somewhere just to show you for reference if you've not uh, done this job before it's, it's already in there, see if I can get a shot of it if that, there you go okay, and the prop shaft bolts are 19mm and the prop shaft is up there and just hang it up there somewhere. Tie it up, I think bash you on the head. So there is a, a Land Rover tool for this to remove this pinion and there is a tool to also hold it. We don't have either and we don't want to buy it just specifically to do this rear one. So this is a way of removing it if you need to do it without specialist tools and there's a couple of other bits we're going to show you. Over so, to you John. To stop this moving, utilise the holes there and slide it there, so if you're undoing a nut, it can't move because it's locked there. When you're doing things up, just slide it there, and this locks it in place. It's just an extension yeah. from a socket set. So we need to get the uh, centre and pinion out, and what we used, Daniel, was a... Well, it's a G-clamp, it's a ball joint G-clamp removal set, and it's the one of the smaller cups. It's the one that fits in this room here. Just show that on the camera. It fits in there. It's got to be bigger than the there. That's bigger than the yeah the pinion, there. basically. So we had one of them, and this bear in mind this lives in there and goes all the way in to the bottom. So we popped that there on top when it was in. We put this lid on and we put an 8mm bolt in the top of the central pinion and with the appropriate socket. I can't remember what size socket this was on here, I think it was a 14 or 13. We literally turn this, but if you look in there, we've got a couple of nuts and washers. Yeah, and that stopped it from pulling the bolt through. Just turn it, turn it, turn it, and it just pulled it out. The only other thing I did beforehand and is that there was mention of uh, chatter online about these having a bit of Loctite on them or something. So I squirted some. Uh, brake cleaner around here and that did it and we had tried previous recommended different methods this was the easiest way and certainly that holding it still was the easiest way so once you've got that out you're faced with another problem is that center bolt there just get that that's a big yeah it's a nylon nut in the middle yeah yeah and again you're just using your extension bar Socket, and it was done up tight, they're about 100 newton meters, I think. Right, so that's that out. Oh, we just sh let me just show this for reference. So it has got a bit of red thread lock on it, so it isn't designed to really come out. You need to clean that off, so that's what it looks like for reference. And, um, I all I used was the wrench, yeah, I didn't use any power tools. And that's it, and then that comes away off there. So we'll just show you show you a couple of bits. So that's the splines. That's what for reference, and also this is the um, flange. We've got to say we've cleaned all that up now. Um, you make sure that part's cleaned up and that part. So that's what it looks like. You need to clean this up here. Use a couple of thousand grit um, sandpaper. Yeah, and you need to really clean that up there. So. In your hand, you can see it's just going to slide back in. It's tapered as well, yeah. so it needs just tapping so in. Yeah, just slide back in. So you don't want to be struck. Only man, we've done this under the vehicle. Your next thing is to get the seal out, right? So the seal obviously lives in there, and it's got the spring at the back that goes there. Now, my way of getting this out was it's a screwdriver down the bottom near your leg. <laughs> yeah. Literally, and this is what I did. This is further, bear in mind this is further in. I went to this edge 
and I bashed my screwdriver in and I pulled it out and it just levered out and that was it really um, so yeah that's how you remove that, yeah. that part anyway so it's without any real expensive tools that was a godsend because nothing moved and that was a problem of trying to undo things and it moving because they're so tight the only thing we've got to do is make sure this is really clean to put the new seal in because it's fairly filthy if you can see any water spots under here uh, it's nothing to do with fluid we're about to put some land guard on and we've just um, pressure washed the whole we'll thing. probably make a, a video we are planning on doing the front seal as well so let's get the bits out of the way so we'll probably make a video so you need like one of those one of these caps oh yeah sorry just to interrupt this um black thing is part of the g clamp set and if you've removed the ball joints on the front um, you probably have this kit anyway so that that is part this is part of that as well so, so you need one of them and that's for holding everything still and that's really the tools and you need your your wrench and your uh, 16 mil socket and that's all you need uh, to pull that out and that was a pain we tried various ways of doing it just didn't work there so, is yeah there is a company called forby f o u r b y uh, probably well known they um do sell a, a, a tool for taking out it's like a big disc it's about 40 pound but uh, we there wanted are, to get the job done that's why we did it this there way are, uh, various other clamps you can get but i think the sim simple uh, thing for holding it still is definitely pop that in and wedge it against there or there depending which way you turn and things anyway i hope this has helped you with this problem because i know it is a big problem and uh, you know getting the tools can be like 100 plus pound or something and you just want to get it done it's a one-off job um, and if you like what you've seen today, a subscription or even a thumbs up would be appreciated. Thanks for watching.